Yo, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing some more Total War Warhammer, continuing with the Vampiric Coast campaign. And yeah, so I was taking a look at this guy. Um, so this isn't actually an entrance to the water. Like, if we wanted to get over there, we're either gonna have to like walk across there, or we're gonna have to like cross over here and uh, get here. And so with this guy uh, upcoming closer to us, I think we're just gonna go enter the water over here. So I think our plan is like, let's get over here as far as possible. We should never have moved out there. We should have actually moved in the water. And then I think next turn we're gonna try um, moving down south if he comes up any further north. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, you're staying here because we're about to finish you up. So we got some stuff going there. So I think that's about all we can do right now. Uh, our main lord is getting close to um, the enemy ratmans. I don't know if they're gonna move towards us, move away from us. Oh, Blessed Dread has nothing, dude. Oh, pff, bring it on, dude, let's go. Is that like your entire army right now? And now he's doing expansion. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go squish him. Yeah, we're gonna go squish him. So let's just move up as close as possible to him. So he can't run away, and then we'll uh, probably murder him next turn. You guys are going away. You're going away as well. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you guys are probably coming down to this line like you always are doing. Cool. Uh, Luther gained extra campaign movement range. Nice. We also got extra corruption. Uh, is there anyone? Not deliver your message. Over. I mean, Madam, we could try. Welcome to the Lampre. I think not. I think not. <laughs> it's like, all we want to do is just like... I still don't get how we can't trade with the Blue Vipers. It makes absolutely no sense to me. No sense. Like, how are we not merged up with them? I guess we have to go grab the Northern Great Jungle. Which will be the plan. Alright, so we're going to put you... Um, we're just going to take the normal route. I'm going to try catching him here, because I don't want him to go through this. We're not close enough to actually take... What? What's happening, dude? Get, get your butt over here. You shouldn't be taking damage from this, right? Is he taking damage from this? I don't think he's taking damage from it. But let's not pass through it, because I don't know if this causes damage when you pass through it. Blitz will suffer losses when in mail storms. Yeah, it sounds like we'll take losses from it. Um, We don't want Vigor. I think we're fine. Uh, where did the rat man go? So they keep going underground. I don't think we can catch you. No. So in that case, let's just go ahead and move inside the city. And can we? Can we get some better units? We actually could switch out our mortar to get a carronade. Because this is just strictly better. It does armor piercing damage as well. Does this... I mean, no, it's armor piercing damage. So missile damage is 92, armor piercing is 370. So if we're fighting non-armor piercing, this one just might be better. Yeah, this is going to do more damage. This is going to do better damage against artillery units. Who are we fighting? We're fighting Ratmen. So I think I'd rather have the Mortar right now. So if that's the case, let's just do this. Um, who's my lowest range guy? Hello, sir. I love you. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm just going to grab a deck gunner. Cause they look fun. They look fun, man. They have a little bit of armor. Leadership's top trash. Speed is terrible. Melee attack and defense are absolutely terrible. Weapon strength is eh, could be better. Um, ammunition's fine, but then range and missile damage. That's what you're talking about, dude. Uh, it also causes fear, which is always nice. But, you know, he's a zombie, so of course he causes fear. Cool. I'm happy with that. You are going to stay here, and I think we're good now to upgrade. Yeah. Uh, what do we want to upgrade here? So we are now on tier four so tier four buildings we could get extra gold we could get deck gunners if we get there uh hand gunners which are not bad and then bombers which i think are pretty good um riding promethean gunnery mobs so these guys are like ranged yeah essentially a little bit better damaged from our normal mobs gunnery mobs um the range is pretty adequate yeah, they have pretty much the same range then. Their missile damage is 31, so their missile damage is a lot better. Uh, the big thing with them is, though, they also have weapon strength and charge bonus and um, melee strength. So they can actually fight. And they have a lot of HP. 
So these guys are pretty good. These actually might be between our heroes. So right now, uh, this army has really been defined by our heroes. I think these guys also are going to be kind of the unit as well. Like, you basically have a tank. <laughs> I mean... For lack of a better term, he doesn't, it's not like artillery can do like ridiculous amounts of damage, um, but just to have missile units that can fight hand to hand and still do ridiculous missile damage reminds me a lot of the Norskins. Uh, but I think let's go for the Depth Guard, because I think I would like one Depth Guard at least in all my armies. Because the Depth Guard are just so good, so good. Um, it doesn't look like we can afford anything else. Uh, we could get the Happiness, right? Yeah, let's get the Happiness, just for the hell of it. Uh, I'm not gonna move you yet. You still need another turn of... Yep. Hero not moved. I'm assuming that was for you. Uh, because I moved everyone else, right? And then research. Um, I think this is the other one we're gonna do, right? Upkeep for animated hulks, bloated corpses, sirens, dragon prometheans, blah, 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 blah. So that's gonna lower upkeep, which is kind of important. Like, I mean, it's not like these guys cost that much, but like 9 gold times 20 is, you know, uh, 90, uh, 180. You know, 180 times 3 is, what, 360, 720? So, yeah, pretty significant, actually. Uh, the other buildings we're going to build in here is, I definitely want this sucker. And we want that. So that's probably going to go in our last two spots. We'll probably be okay with that. So, yeah, you're sitting there. The other hero must have been this guy, I think. Because we moved you and we moved you, correct? You can't actually get the attack off, right, is what you're telling me? You could get the attack off, but he ran away. Okay, well in that case, let's get um, slightly further away, please. I just want him to be like right in the middle storm. So, does that stop him? I think that also stops him from recruiting. Like, I think if he has to run away, I don't think he can recruit anymore. So, Altered of the Horn Rat sounds like a place that a rat is going to be. <laughs> uh, also, I think that might be the kind of treasure that gets you um, a fight. I think it looks like the fight one. Uh, great. So, Skaven are declaring war on us, then? Oh, no, they want a non-aggression pack. Yeah, let's peace up, dude. Hell yeah. Could we also get a trading? If we could trade with him, that means he must be close to me. Um, Blue Vipers. We're gonna go fast, because... I don't think I care. You're losing happiness over there, by the way. Free boaters, and I don't care. Gentleman Jenkins is now declaring war on me, right? Yep. Well, of course. Did we already kill you? I guess sworn I killed Gentleman Jenkins. Whatever. See if I care. So, um. These rat men that we just teamed up with? We can actually trade with them. You are here with my Yeah, that means they're probably nearby. Well, uh, can we see where they're at by chance? Like, any idea? Like, what island are you on? <laughs> are you are you on my island? Are you in a different island? Are you, you know, north of here, south of here? Like, a little bit of knowledge would be very helpful. We're just gonna murder this guy. Uh, it's one unit. I'm just gonna order it all. We're gonna get nothing for this. We literally didn't get anything for it. Okay. Uh, we got leadership, though. That's not bad. Can you? No pray, yes, you can. No Let's go pick this up then. So we lost two guys there. Um, I don't want to defeat the foe. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I don't want to defeat a foe. Uh, cause we're about to fight over here. So, having decided to uh wait to discover the fate of the convoy's wreckage, you eventually received word that several deadly sea battles took place. Allegedly, very few ships managed to get in and out uh, without any value. Uh, so in the ensuing chaos, most of the loot ended up being at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, but your scouts in there still managed to recover a few. Only a thousand. I think it was like seven thousand before. The thing is, our army here is like tier one. And that last battle we fought against it, we like we had what two of the giant crafts. And I don't want to say we barely won it, but it was definitely not an easy fight for us. So um, I'm okay with like saying screw that. Do we want any of these? Gives us missile damage for Queen Bee, which apparently we can't get. Recruit rank, bonus versus large, extra movement range. Or we can get public order and income. I don't think I really care about any of those. Uh, HP is really, really nice, but I think I want to give you more magic reserves. Getting more uh, magic to cast spells. So this is almost certainly going to find some rats.
Well, we found Clan Spittle. Ahoy! I don't want to declare war on him. Here's the thing. Blood and blunder. Are you one province? Is that your only army? By the cruel sea. You have four settlements. We could honestly like go wreck it and put a little thing there. But the thing is, I'm here to kill the other guys. Yeah. How do these provinces look? So these guys are both in the same province. And this is the capital. I think we're just gonna move back. We're gonna say forget it. Yes. Uh, so then, what I would really like, Altar of the Horned Rat, and they're also kind of a buffer right now between us and the other guys. So for now, let's just be friends. I would really like a trade agreement. You said no, right? This is a really good trade agreement. I am... So is the income per turn... I think he's gonna make 440. I'm gonna make 88. Why the heck would he not accept that? Like, in what way, shape, or form would he not accept making that much money per turn? Like, dude, come on, dude. We'll give it a couple turns. He'll be happier with me after a little bit. He's probably not really happy the fact that we're moving through his territory. Oh, actually, speaking of that. Hi, uh, can we get uh, at least, like... Yeah, he's not going to want to give me anything now. Ah, I forgot we actually need military access. You don't want to give me military access. Piss off, dude. No, not. Okay. Well then. The wind will come. We can't even get in the water. Why can't we get in the water? The tides are against us. Well, we're gonna come over here then. And it's gonna take us a couple turns to get back. But that's probably the safer way to go. So you need pirate coves. We could, we're already at war with these guys. We could already go blow up their stuff and do some pirate coves. Why are you on fire? Why would you be on fire? Why would you be on fire? I kind of don't want to move her out until we get Jim Bob back. And she's safe right now, so. Now, I am a little worried, I'm not going to lie, about moving him. Because they can just jump over and that's very, very bad for us. But if we could get down... Well, here's the thing. We know we can get all the way over here. So if we can get all the way over there... We are within striking distance next turn. And we're within distance of getting home as well next turn. Uh, you have your better unit, right? Right, we did pick up a better unit. Right? Yeah, there you go. He's in a different location than I was expecting. Uh, you're staying here still. Because we're still trying to upgrade everyone here. Uh, that's gonna give us the gunnery mobs. Let's do gunnery mobs and ah, let's do income next. Our income's getting a little low. Uh, how much? What's the what's the change on this? So we're going from two hundred to fifty. What are those last rights you're talking about? I don't think we've done this. Bountiful treasure, five hundred for every buried trust from buried treasure chain. Ah, that sucks. So that kind of sucks. So it's not really necessarily what we want then. Ah, uh, it gives you an extra 20% buildings from... Yeah, no, nah, it's fine. So all our ports are going to make more money. Number one. Number two, um... All our buildings are going to make more money. So, yeah, 20% extra. It'll be fine. So you're going to skip, because you're going to stay here one turn. Your army's looking pretty nice. Eh. Your army's okay. So... We'll, we'll have to take her through the sea, too. Oh, we also... Oh, we could go wreck these guys, dude. Yeah, I should have done that. I don't think she gets anything for winning battles. But we could have done that. If he doesn't get too far away, we're going to go do that. So, they're building up an army here, which I don't really like, but I think they'll take up through the coast. Which is kind of why... Uh, yeah. We're fighting too many guys. I wonder if I could piece him out. He's weak. He is really weak. So, um, the Skeggy goes pretty early, so we missed them. So he didn't do anything. All my buildings, like, stay right there. Right there. Stop. Stop! Yeah. I think we can get her. Him. It. She. Uh, unite against us. Are you effing kidding? Are you effing kidding, game? We had a freaking deal with this sh freaking ass. That is the second freaking time now. 
That pisses me off beyond freaking measure right now. And I can't do anything about it. I literally cannot. That is stupid as hell, dude. Undead Raiders. Oh, that's so stupid, man. That is so stupid. Get moving. All right, let's get you back. We're going to immediately take you up, although we really want the growth here. Uh, you're just going to be a while before you get there, so let's just take you up so we can get the port going. And then, once again, I think we're just going straight money here. Man, I am so mad. That is, like, that is annoying as hell. What does your army look like? Your Norskin, you're level 20. She's level 1. Probably not a good idea. How do we do this, then? Do we have a right? When is her right? One turn. I mean, she's going to get her butt kicked if she goes here. So the only one who could actually do that is going to be Speak these guys. Up. Oh, this is so stupid, man. I should have destroyed them. I had the chance. Like... Who calls? <laughs> like, we had a non-aggression freaking pact with him. We paid him two freaking K for that non-aggression pact. Two freaking K for that non-aggression pact. And he basically said, all right, thank you, goodbye. Um, here's the other thing that I was looking at. We might. Admiral of Cars will Mathland spare me from You don't want a peace treaty either. Mm. So we have no money now. But we might need to build up an army here. Master. You think he's going to declare war and take it over? Because we could raise another army and then go freaking just to deal with this guy. What can we even build in this province? Master. Pirate gunners. Basically. We can basically build a bunch of pirate mobs. God, I'm so mad. Could I maybe use some of his own plays against him. Like, could we be like, hey, military alliance, but uh, pay me money. He still will pay me that, dang. Okay, there's our military alliance. We definitely want the military access, and we should be able to get this for some good money again. Uh... Okay, so that's a lot of money we just got from there. Can we get him to join war against the boys of the Forbidden Coast? Or is it the Tyrants? Gotta be the boys, right? What if we gave you your money back? Dang it. Ah, what about... I can't actually ask him on the skelly. So we have the defensive lines now. The problem is if we would have allied with him before, we would be in a better spot. Well, I think I found the Skaven. Yeah, we definitely found the Skaven. So we could go burn down his town right now. The problem is, what's going to happen here? Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Vessels of Chaos. Can I get the Vessels of Chaos on our side? Probably not. Uh, who are you? Flaxton Rebels. That probably also isn't going to help. Oh, oh, so they're currently at war with them already. Gotcha. All right, well, that works. Yeah, I'm just worried about this guy. That's it. That's it. How long have we been going this episode? 20 minutes. Let's save. If he spawns uh, enemies our way, well, we're going to reload, I think. So let's just keep pushing. We revealed a bunch of Skaven. Uh, we also have a siege here. So we're just going to sit here and continue siege. I should maybe save before this turn. Yeah, because we always could have gone back to the last turn. Because we could always have gone back to this autosave right here. 
I don't think we could have gotten our dude back no matter what. I should have killed him though. Man, I should have killed him. So uh, let's save here. And I might build an army here. I hadn't decided. We'll have to figure out what's going to happen. So you guys are staying here in Pox March. Awakening. We got the money again, so go grab that. Thank you. Hero not moved. I don't care. Armed and ready. And the real question is whether or not we can take these guys. We're at war with them. The odds are against me. Now, what do you get, by the way? She wasn't battles, correct? She was not battles. Constructing pirate coves. And just just pirate coves. Because remember, I was going to send her across the coast, which is kind of ridiculous at this point. So right now, I think we kind of have to stay where we're at. I hate it. All right, you're here to protect. Skip. Because we're not going to lose anything over here. These guys aren't going to come attack us. Your ally's been attacked. Cool. I'm so glad we just freaking pulled in another person into this. <laughs> this is going terrible, man. This is absolutely going terrible right now. So let's see if that dude ends up, like, squishing us. Or if he's just going to sit outside our walls. He might be worried about what's inside of it. I wonder if I can get these guys on our side. Probably not, because they're humans. I'm not sure if I want to cut a deal. I swear to God, if you break my deal right now. Just cut. Join war against... No, sorry, I can't. Dude, I just got into, like, three wars with you, okay? I can't really help you with any other ones. Blue Vipers, woot. Please, like... You guys are pretty strong. I think they're just out they're pushing themselves too far, I think. Um, I think the boys just skipped. Yeah, they just stayed where they're at. Alright. So that's a thing. Who are you at war with? Someone must have done um Yeah, someone must have done uh one of the vortex things. What's really weird about him is that he's at, like, full power right now. Oh. 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 We want that. So now what's going to happen is everyone's going to start suffering attrition that's in my territory. This isn't technically in my territory. But he should be now suffering attrition. Yeah, they're all suffering attrition. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we do. Now the question is, do we win? The, do we Atrox fight this battle? Kill. I just, oh my god, I hate fighting siege battles. I hate fighting siege battles. I cannot describe it enough. I'm just bad at them. I'm just gonna be honest. Straight up, I'm bad. Lies for the looting. What does he got? He's got a hero, and it's a wizard hero, which would suck. Then he's got a bunch of spears and shields, so those are just melee units. He's got the night runners, which are missiles, but really low missile range. Um, then he does have the freaking plague claw, which has some range as well. But I'm assuming the queen bee would just, queen best would just blow through the walls. I would think it would just absolutely destroy the walls. And then here's the other thing, we also got range here too. Well, and we also got another mortar. I just don't want to have to deal with all the towers and stuff like that. We don't really have enough. We could auto resolve and see what happens. You know what? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm totally freaking cool with that. Ruin their hovels. Power. I'm totally okay with that. 100% cool Give with that. Me. So all he lost was a bunch of like crap units. Like whatever. We can just get them right back. They had some XP, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool with that. Tr trust me when I say that went better than it would have gone had I fought it myself. Just gonna be honest. Just gonna be honest. Uh, income from raiding, income from enemy buildings. Can we get anything that can raise the level of our dudes? Now, the downside is obviously we didn't get to fight the battle ourselves, so yeah, that sucks, but leadership when fighting, 
Casualty and replenish recruitment costs. I don't think I care. So we just want to keep making you as badass as possible. Let's finish this off then. You can't do the... That's 20. Yeah, near 17. Okay. So we're going to get a lot of HP back here. 16. I'm going to do that. It's going to be one less... Wait a second. <gasps> we lost a regiment. We did. So we need 10 more turns before we can get him. This is adequate, though. Yep, 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 yep. This will be fine. We could also recruit some better units here. Like, for example, our animated hulks. I just don't want to wait four turns. No, I think let's just do this. And you're going to go... You can't go. I was going to say you're going to go to encampment phase. Um, I wonder if our gunshots would have done any difference. I definitely don't want to fight these guys. Maybe I should just raise this. Curse my crowded psyche. You know what? I'm going to go back real quick. We're going to raise it. Because I can't hold it. Um, there's absolutely zero chance of us holding it if he starts moving all his army south. Uh, so in that case, I'd much rather move Luther back up north and go kick those freaking um, orc dudes. So, and remember, everyone's taking uh, attrition, and we have walls in all those cities. So, I'm feeling pretty safe with my southern two cities. And at some point, they're either gonna have to go colonize it. That just sucks because they're gold quality, man. But, like, all these guys are the ones I really care about. Like, look, we lost we lost the gold quality one. We'll get them back in ten turns. These guys are super replaceable. <laughs> super replaceable. Smash. So we're just going to raise you. Wait. What's sack? Now, the downside is we're not going to gain as much forward. HP. Oh, we can't. Ah. That's the downside. So we should sack it then. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna go sack it. Redo. Sorry. Sorry. We're trying to figure out what we're kind of trying to do. I thought I knew you could occupy it after. I thought you could also sack it. It makes sense. I think you have to wait one more turn to sack it. So, I mean, that gets you a lot of gold, and that's kind of nice and everything, but nah, nah, nah. We're just gonna sack it, and so that basically is gonna mean that it doesn't make any gold. Now, obviously, like, hurting it, you know, does good, too. And then they could go build it up and we can go conquer it later, but, I mean, screw it. It has Fight walls and everything. Day. We're just, we're just gonna, we're gonna blow it up. Raise. That gives us a lot of money, too. And we can go colonize it later. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna do one, one, two, three. Perfect. Now I need you to get your butt back home. A step too far. You can. Stronger. So gain a little bit of HP this turn. And then from there we'll go. Oh, could you dig for treasure? I don't think there was one right here, right? Northern Great Jungle. That's all in the west. Uh close, but no. 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 And then what's happening down here? You should be ready to go. Correct? Yeah, and then we're gonna go... We'll probably fight this one ourselves. I don't think they'll have walls here. Get going. This is our enemy one, right? Yep. We'll fight the this battle. Will fight. I'm gonna fight this battle just so we can fight a battle this episode, because, you know, apologies for everything else. I like to fight at least one battle in an uh, episode, so... Uh, he's got some slingers, which suck, and he's got the night runners, which also suck. We're gonna try baiting him into hitting me in the forest. Um, are we gonna raise this one? We could. I mean, there's definitely something to be said about raising all this. The downside is those other rats might come up and take them. I think this one is protected enough that we should be okay. Uh, man, I really wish we wouldn't have gotten the chick that that is all about the pirate coves now. When we grabbed her, it was nice. Like, that's what we wanted to do. And then the war happened, and it's like, well, okay, this was not a good idea anymore. There's not a single force to be had. Cool. You think he'll forget about him? You think he'll forget? Uh, probably not, but, you know, we can always hope. So we'll put you here, we're gonna put you here. Uh, I don't know if... It's actually not a bad idea, too, to have him near the edge. And we'll just put you guys behind. And go up here. I can put them! Oh, because we have the thing going. Yeah, we have that one thing going right now, so we could totally do this. 
Yeah, sweet, 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 sweet. And uh, you're back there. Jim Bob, we gotta remember to move. We almost forgot Jim Bob. Almost forgot Jim Bob. Okay. So you guys need to um, rotate. Da -da -da -da. Ah, getting all the hotkeys. There we go. Okay, go. This is still gonna be in the forest, I think. Uh, maybe not. Let's keep you in here. We want to stay in the forest. Because if they see us, if they catch a glimpse of us, we're screwed. And so I want you to actually go up there. Go over here. Go here. Just so they're spread out a little bit. Just so when they explode, it's not going to be all at the same time. Why did they take damage? Uh, must have been because we went through the attrition area. I might exchange. Uh, are we hitting? We're not hitting. So we're going to have to move forward. We're going to have to move forward. Really? Really? I don't want to move forward, man. I don't want them to... Okay. Well, that, I mean, that's a thing. So, uh, two... We're gonna go here. You guys are all on three. Stop as well. No, not guard. Uh, halt. And then, Jim Bob, my friend. You're gonna come here and kill us. So, unpause. Oh, they're there. <laughs> they're so tiny, I didn't even see them. I was looking still in the rocks, man. Okay, well, that seems like a really dumb idea. Just throwing that out there. But, you know, you do you. We have you there. We're going to go here. And we're going to put you here. Oh, yeah, we can also move and shoot, so we're also doing that. <laughs> uh, we should have spawned our own spawn unit on him, right? Probably not necessary. All right, is this gonna get us in range? He spawned more dudes in me, who instantly broke. All right, cannon time. Yo, what what happened to our lines here? Can you can you like can we get back just because? We could also just not explode this guy right now. Then we wouldn't have to pay money for it. Stop spawning these freaking crappy ass rats, man. Oh, you know what? Turn off skirmish, man. Just kill them. Like, seriously. Except you guys. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. Yeah, all I have to do is, like, hit with my Admiral once. We're good. <laughs> uh, we could use some really nice spells. Or can we hit with you? We got a little bit of time. So, uh, what we could do... Pause. I think you have better range. Not really. Do we have... We just have the leadership one. Meh. Okay, you guys go here. You go back. And then you guys stay, like, this way. Uh, that's oh god wrong buttons. Oh, I tapped out again uh, And then did he spend another one on me? How many of these guys do you get to spawn? I don't get to spawn that many man <laughs> Seriously, I don't get that many uh, You guys just keep killing these guys I still would like to throw this out there Oh, hey, get over here. Run away. Ow, that really hurt. Wow, that really hurt, dude. Dude, his wizard is godly, man. That did a lot of damage. Uh, where's he at? Oh, you know, payback's a bitch. And I want you just to shoot him. Uh, let's get leadership breaking right here. Go for the Lord. So shooting this guy. I don't know what you guys are even doing at this point. I really don't know what you guys are doing at this point. Oh, I think you guys are trying to kill these guys. That makes no sense. Go kill those guys, please. Uh, hey, don't die, leader. Don't die. So we broke his leader. It's always good. So all that's left now. Oh, we also have these guys right here, don't we? All we have left are these guys.
Come on. What about this? How is he back? How how did he just spawn? Oh, it's his oh it's ability. It's not a leader ability. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, no, it's not actually a leader ability. It's just a regular, regular ability. Yo, you just get in here, because I think you have terror. And can we come, like, shoot these guys, please, for the love of God? Never mind. All you guys just come shoot these guys. This fight went pretty much as terrible as it could go. Wow. Like, we've literally almost lost all of our units right now. Uh, we ended up... Killing another one in his groups. We can do more missile damage. Yeah, he's wiping out our unit. Uh, no. Yeah, he's wiping out two of our units. I missed. I freaking missed. I freaking missed with my ability, man. Hey, you guys probably could shoot there. Okay, uh, let's quit before we disintegrate. Ah! Let's never talk about that one again. Yeah, that went pretty bad. That went pretty bad. We could have done better than that. Uh, we lost 146, so we lost more than he did. Uh, I got really screwed. His wizard really just kind of messed with me. I think he got in my head is what happened. He had some really, really good spells and just kind of threw me. The other thing, too, keep in mind, we didn't use our exploders. That would have really changed the battle way into our favor. So what do we want to do here is the question. I like the idea of sacking it. Just to gain some HP back. Wait for and then we're going to go take it next turn. Of the fleet. And then we'll get more HP this way. Uh, by the way, we also got new weaponry and stuff like that. So, uh, weapon right now. Let's first go to our main army. Where are you at? Who else has levels? Oh, Luther has a level. Oh yeah, we got to redo it. Ugh. So, give me the third level cut list, right? I think that's what we were doing, sure. And then, uh, what's your current weapon? Nah. You just got a regular, nah, that's a boring one. I thought we had another Hailsman armor. There's nothing there, so. Uh, never mind then. Uh, what about. What about you? Do you have a weapon? Loyalty is precious as gold. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a weapon. Charge bonus would be really helpful on you as well. So, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So you're gonna go take over that next turn and then you'll go grab this one. Um, you'll probably have to siege it down a little bit, but it'll be fine. You think this guy will declare war on me? Probably. We could go kill him. So the thing is, I really want he, uh, her to come down here and get like a pirate cove, but I think we're gonna keep her where she's at. We could start moving up here, move her up here just in case. You know what? That's maybe not a bad idea. The other thing we could do is we can move her over into this province, and then this province right now we have bat swarms. We could switch it to ammunition, man. I think we switch it to loyalty, share the spoils. And I think we move her over here. And we're probably gonna want her help in this section. Which means then, over here, we don't need this one anymore. We could do recruitment costs, siege holdout time, campaign movement range. Maybe siege holdout time? I don't know, they're all kind of bad. Lower the cost of zombies, sure. Uh, what do you do? Extra public order. We don't need public order here anymore. Especially now that she moved away. <laughs> yeah, now that she's gone, we're fine. Public order is great. And we're gonna hold on to both these buildings because they're both tier five. We don't want to build that one yet. Admiral of the fleet. We could also just burn it down. But yeah, like I said, I just don't want them to go colonize it. Now, if we conquered you, we could go back and take it up later. But he's he loves me, man. He loves me because we do a lot of killing, so. I don't want to move you. Captain on deck. Are you supposed to be with her? Admiral of the fleet. I think so, actually. Fleet captain. Yeah, you're actually supposed to be with her. 
So let's go ahead and just get rid of one of these melee dudes. Because right now the melee is like the weakest. Yeah, the melee is the weakest right now. I wonder if I could do... No, nah, sure, he moved. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. So uh, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. Next episode, I don't know. We're going to have to deal with this. We're going to have to deal with that. Hopefully, maybe they deal with it. We'll see. We'll see. So they're all like... That's his capital. But he doesn't have that many units there. So I don't know. We'll see you later. Bye.